It's back. Our five on five coverage is back for a third season here in the Valley. Here's how it works. Every Friday, we've got a full court press on Valley High School basketball. Let's tip it off with the girls and let's sing it when it's cold outside. You know what that means? Break out the Letterman jackets. San Benito at home against Edinburgh Vela and the Hounds hot early. Miranda Vallejo. Good for three here. Then after a steal, Hounds on the run again. Pass down low to Arlene Lucero, and she gets it to go. San Benito out to an 8-0 start. Little man's like, hey, Joel, I love you, brother, but please, no more singing. All right, now it's Vela's turn. They're going down the court. Dina likes that little guy. That's Bianca Cortez with the shot for Vela, but the Sabercats coming up short. San Benito the winner. 42-33. All right, now for a game in the Vid Valley. Channel 5's Brandon Ortega is at Westlaco High School, where tonight the Pantherettes were there playing the Lady Wolverines. Brandon? Joel, tonight the Panthers and Wolverines both coming off playoff appearances a year ago. And, of course, Westlaco High went all the way to the Sweet 16 a year ago. Now both teams trying to build some momentum heading into district play. Tonight we pick it up in the second quarter. Westlaco High up by 7 and setting the tone for the Panthers. Their do-it-all point guard, Bree Benya, distributing early on. Kicks it out to Alexa Gallegos. Westlaco so dangerous when they push the tempo. Now back came the Wolverines. Monique De Leon letting it rain from beyond the arc. Approaching halftime, Memorial staying within striking distance. However, Westlaco High would go on a big run in the second half. Pena leading the way, 22 points, a game high. And the Panthers end non-district play with a convincing win, 56-18. Today we needed to go out there strong, and you know we just needed to go into the season like with the full energy and the confidence that we need to go up against East and all these good teams that we have in our district. Coming up for both teams, one more non-district game for PSJA Memorial. They'll take on St. Joseph Academy. As for Westlaco High, they tip off district play coming up on Tuesday night with their crosstown rival, Westlaco East. Back to you, Joel. All right, thank you, B. A few more scores here for girls action. Port Isabel knocks off St. Joseph 47-43. Mercedes topples Raymondville and PSJ North over Brownsville Pace 51-37. Well, it was a tough season for the Vela Boys basketball team. After self-reporting a team violation, the Sabercats had to forfeit 20-plus wins. Soon after, their head coach, Lado Rios, had to resign. This season, Rios back on the court, this time as the Ed Couch Elsa head coach. Jackets battling Port Isabel at the C.E. Vale Classic in Lafayette today. Ed Couch with an early eight-point lead. P.I. with the response. That's Tommy Zurita. Tarpons rally to tie it up, but the Jackets just too strong in the second half, and Ed Couch Elsa wins 68-42. It's a process. Uh, it, it's very difficult to go in in year one and, and, and automatically have success. Uh, and, but credit to these kids that they're really trying to absorb everything that we're throwing at them. A total of 24 teams going for the shiny title at the Hidalgo Pirate Classic. Handle 5's Ruben Juarez was there and he's got some highlights. Ruben. We had another full day of action in Hidalgo at the Pirate Classic, one of the key matchups on day two featuring Los Fresnos against Pace. The Falcons went 1-1 one and one on day one. On the other hand, Pace went 2-0 and oh on day one, looking to stay undefeated here at the Pirate Classic. We start off in the third quarter, Pace with the rock and a one-point lead. They feed the big fella Vicente Garcia in the paint. First try no good. He wins the battle for the board and scores on the putback. Vikings with a 28-25 lead. Later in the third, Andrew Carrizales comes up with a steal for the Falcons. He leads a two-on-one and dishes it off to Gabe Martinez, who finishes off glass to make it a one-point game. Less than a minute left in the quarter, Tomas Rangel comes up with the rebound and knocks down the short jumper. Los Fresnos up 37-36 going into the fourth. Paces Julio Ortega maneuvers his way into the paint. He gets a tough bucket to drop. Los Fresnos up four at that point. The Falcons take flight in the second half. They go on to win 61-49. to Right now we're just trying to get better. We still haven't played good basketball. We've played okay basketball, but not good basketball. Um, we're going to turn the corner here hopefully coming next week and Hopefully we'll be ready by district time. We started locking up on defensive end. In the first half, we weren't we were giving them easy layups. Offensively, we weren't scoring at all. In the second half, we woke up, came out more intensity, and 
everything just fit for us. The third and final day of the sixth annual Pirate Classic wraps up tomorrow. Reporting in Hidalgo, Ruben Juarez, uh, Channel 5 Sports. Thank you very much, Ruben. Also at the Pirate Classic, La Jolla battling PSJA and the Coyotes running and gunning early. That is Justin Pulido who hits the three ball. Coyotes on top 17-11. A little later, PSJA with the steal. This is Robbie Garza taking it the distance. And La Jolla, however, beats PSJA 67-63. Back in La Feria, more pool play at the CE Vale. This is PSJ Memorial and PSJ Southwest. Wolverine start hot from beyond the arc. That is Jared Koenig with the three. On the other end, the Javelinas would answer. This is Marco Ramos, the nice dish to Rolando Cedillo down low. Javelinas kept it close early, but the Wolverines would start to pull away. The final score in this one, 71 to 38. At your look at sports, we'll be right back after this.